Hello Jared, this is a version of uh, Route 66 um, as played by the Stones on their first album, probably did the best version ever um, and I tend to play it with a sort of A string in the key of A bar chord down here anyway, let's give it a go and see if I can do it without making too many mistakes Sort of, um, not the best I've ever played it, but not the worst either. Um, the basic riff is in A, and this is basically your F shape slid up here to the fifth fret, where it's a sort of a part of that A major shape played there. You're not actually you're playing the open A string, not the E string, just the open A string. But hence, you can do this. Quite a useful thing. Um, the first part of the riff is a small bar across the G and B strings, sort of muting the high string, hitting that, and then pulling the G string and dropping down onto the D string. Like that. Like that. Okay. And now the second part is a little bit deceptive. You can actually play that again and get away with it, sort of. You see, it could go. That's that's fine. Works. I tend to sort of drop in that note there, so you, I'm actually playing. Except that you don't, you're not hearing it like this. You're kind of hearing it underneath, so it's almost too uh, too fast here. So I'm, I'm I'm fat playing this. Hopefully you can. Now the D and the E, because this is obviously a blues and A, and it uses a D and an E, are basically uh, based around the seventh versions of the D and E chord. So if that's a D chord, then uh, that's an E chord. Hopefully you know. The seventh D seventh is missing out the finger here on the um, G string. Sorry. And so that's D7 and that's E7. And all I'm doing here is I'm um, moving my little finger up one fret and playing those, in fact, those two strings together, but I'm muting the top string. And I'm, I'm first hitting the bass E D here. So you're getting the sort Sorry, I'm not doing this very well. That's it. And then back into the main riff again. Um, the chorus is, of course, a chugal. Um, sorry, you sort of bend up to that. It doesn't sound that good on an acoustic, much better on an electric, but something a bit like this. So you're playing the last riff, let's say, like this. That's basically just a double a bend up on the G, uh, playing between the G and the B and sort of letting it down. You could probably find a better way of doing that. I mean, there might be something, something like that that works better. But uh, that's um, how I've always learned it. Then you hit the A string. You don't need to do this, but I just do that sort of time myself. And also to stop there being an embarrassing silence. So I'm going. And 
then building up their little bass run to the D. And if you're playing there with someone else, that might irritate them. It did irritate some of the bands I played. With. I kind of got used to doing it though. Then you're into D shuffle. Okay. Now the D shuffle, D ch chugle really essentially is chugle in, in chugling in the key of A is the easiest kind of chugle to do, which is why everyone does it. Um, that's a D major. That's the same chord played with the bar and one finger underneath, which leaves this finger free to chugle. And basically, you're adding in to get technical about it the sixth note of the uh, major scale. So that's your chugle, and you're also playing the open D behind it. you're doing the same thing on an A. This time you only need really to hold down that note and that drop in that note and play the open A beneath it. Now you can get fancy with this still sort of you know but really this is more a song that requires a straightforward chugle. And then go to the E, back to the A and then end on the E. Uh, blues structure we'll do another time, but if you, if you play the beginning of that tape, you'll get that. Then you're back into it. The thing I like about this version, this is Bernie, taught to me by a guitar wrist called Bernie Torme, uh, who uses it in a lot of the, th the lessons he taught me, um, is it's different. For example, the feel goods just do this, and then when they get to the, the D and the B, they just play them as straight chords. So you put, doesn't sound as good. That version is the same as and it, for me it adds more texture to the song. Anyway give it a go and see how you get on.